I'm Suzanne Otterbein. I'm the National Enrollment Advisor for Kerala Ayurveda Academy. And before we get started, I just have a few housekeeping issues I wanted to go over, but I wanted to introduce you to who's joining us on the call today. Uh, Jamila Kalozi is here. She is our Creative Marketing Manager, and she will be answering your questions during the webinar. So you're able to type your questions in at any time during, uh, during the webinar in our question box. She'll be answering them for you. And if she doesn't answer them right away, it just means she's saving that for our Q&A session a little bit later uh, at the end of the webinar. So you're all muted at this time. Um, and you have a couple audio options to choose from. You can use your computer's microphone and speakers. I would use a headset for the best sound quality. If your computer is giving you a little trouble with the audio, you can use your phone. So uh, you, in your webinar confirmation, there's a phone number and, and code to call in on your phone. So you can try that. Uh, so Jamila, why don't you say hi to everybody? Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today. I really look forward to getting to know you and answering all of your questions. And just so you know, I have taken the program as a distance learner. I'm working remotely for Kerala Ayurveda Academy on Cape Cod in Massachusetts. So if you have questions about what that format is like specifically, please let me know. I'm happy to talk about that. Thank you so much, Jamila. Brenda, do you want to come on and say a quick hello? Just say hi to everybody. Hi, Brenda. Oh, she camera went away. There she is. Brenda Hi, just everyone. Saying. Good morning. And it's so nice to be on the call with you. And like Suzanne said, it's super informal, but we have a wealth of information for you. Yes, thank so. you. Brenda, Brenda is um, an enrollment advisor with me, so she may be calling you after the webinar to follow up if you have any questions. She also is an academic mentor, which I'll get into later. That is, we have academic support for you throughout the year in the program. She's an AWP graduate and has been mentoring for about a year. So she'll come on a little bit later and, and talk a little bit about that. But I just wanted to introduce you to the three of us. We're so excited to be on the call today. I think we've all been holed up in our, in our homes and we're happy to see each other and to meet you. So thank you so much. Um, she'll, she'll come back on later on. Thanks, Brenda. All right, so let's get started. So what are we going to do today? So we are going to go over uh, the Ayurvedic Wellness Counselor Program. It's our level one certification program. I'm going to give you a brief overview of Kerala Ayurveda Academy's unique heritage and then just touch on what is Ayurveda and what makes it special. So uh, and then from there we'll go into the scope of practice for our level one program, some professional applications, and then we'll go into the format the curriculum, the tuition, the payment plans, and then I'll go over some of our student and alumni benefits, additional services, and some continuing ed programs. So we not only offer this program and other certification programs, we offer a wide variety of in-person and online programs for all levels of students. So we have the schedule for our spring program, which is starting April 7th. It's not too late to join. If you wanna get started, perhaps you have a little bit more time to, to start a program being at home for a little while, for a few weeks more. And uh, we're set up to do the programs online. We've been doing live streaming for a, for a number of years now. So we're not really missing a beat in terms of delivering our really awesome educational programs. Uh, we have suspended our in-class sessions, as you might expect. We are based in uh, Milpitas, California. And we have an, our academy there and a fully functioning wellness center. So right now that is, that is closed down, our wellness center and our academy. We're not doing any in-person classes or sessions at our wellness center. We are doing online consultations for our uh, clients in the wellness center and we're doing our live streaming of all of our classes. So we have our faculty doing doing the classes from their home. Everybody's really experienced in doing live streaming, so we're really not missing a beat at all with that. So if you have any other questions about it, you know, please let us know. Remember, Jamila's taken the program distance learning so she can give you a unique perspective. I've taken it, but in person, so I'll certainly share with you my experiences there. And we, we feel that we're a really special 
company uh, because we're owned by a larger company, Kerala Ayurveda Limited, based in Kerala, India, which is the birthplace of Ayurveda. So we have these really deep roots in the authentic teachings of Ayurveda. We have resources there. We have two award-winning Ayurvedic centers, yoga and wellness centers there, one based in Kerala, one based outside of Bangalore. And we also have hundreds and hundreds of Ayurvedic clinics across, across India, as well as uh, Ayurvedic products that we grow, manufacture, and sell. We have research, a wonderful research and development facility as well. So we like to consider ourselves a seed to table Ayurveda company. And we offer opportunities for our students to study in India um, that is available as well. So we, we feel we can offer you really a very unique and authentic experience. So you can see by this map, we, we have green dots sort of scattered around representing our students and alumni. Most of our students, as you might expect, as a U.S. company, are based here in the U.S. We're represented by over 25 percent, sorry, 25 states in the U.S. But we also have international students because of the live streaming technology. So we have students joining us from around the globe, not only for our certification programs, but for our other online programs as well. So um, that's really wonderful. So what is Ayurveda? So you may know uh, um, something about Ayurveda. I'd love to know what your level of knowledge is. Is Ayurveda completely new to you? Is it something that you maybe studied on your own, read some books? Have you taken a workshop or perhaps studied at another institution? I'd love to know. So let us know in the question box. Um, that would be super, super helpful and informative. So Ayurveda literally means the science of life. It's a Sanskrit word. And it's the, one of the oldest documented healthcare systems. It's over 5,000 years old. And what is one of the unique aspects of Ayurveda is that it's a system that considers all life in the universe, not just human health. It considers all living things. And really at the core is that we are connected to nature and nature is connected to us. So if we're in crisis, if like now we have a health crisis going on, um, there's an imbalance in ourselves, there's also a balance within nature. So there's no separation, we believe, between us and nature. Um, we've seen a lot of growth in the interest in Ayurveda since the ancient, those ancient Sanskrit texts have been translated over the last year, so we've seen increasing popularity. I've seen a great increase over the last four years since I got my certification and started working for Kerala Ayurveda Academy, that people are really looking for an uh, alternative to Western or really something to do in conjunction with a Western protocol that they have control over. The really wonderful, one of the wonderful things about Ayurveda is it it not only emphasizes personal solutions for the individual to maintain balance or prevent disease, but it, it really empowers the individual to take control of their own life and their own health. There are many, many things that we can do that will help us to maintain our good health to prevent disease. And I'll go into that in a little bit. Okay, so I may incorporate some things, you know, I know we're all concerned at this time about um, our immunity and good health and preventing uh, diseases, viruses, etc. And I'm just going to talk in general about some immunity tips for maintaining or boosting your wellness, um, just in general, you know, so we have a healthy and strong uh, immune system. Uh, to prevent all kinds of imbalances, okay? So at the core, uh, we believe that everything is made up of the five basic elements. Every living thing is a unique combination of these five elements. Ether, air, fire, water, and earth. So based on a unique combination, this gives rise to what we call the doshas the vata, pitta, and kapha. And everyone has a unique combination of these doshas, which are really the, the uh, combination of the elements. For instance, the vata dosha is primarily ether and air. And, our, and the pitta, pitta um, 
Doshit is primarily fire with a little water. And Kapha is primarily earth and water. So each of these elements possess unique qualities that influence the way in which we might recommend healing interventions, whether that's lifestyle or diet or body work or herbal remedies and the like. So we, you have this unique balance. So as a counselor, you're going to learn how to determine what each individual's unique balance of these elements are, what is their combination of the doshas. Usually people have one or two dominant doshas um, it, within them, but we all possess all of the elements in our body. It just depends on what, what, which ones are more predominant. And so when we look at remedies to address imbalances, we look at that combi unique combination of the elements, and we also address not just the physical body and the physical symptoms, but we look at the mind, body, and spirit. So that is um, really important. So when we think about wellness, there are things that we want you know, to happen within ourselves, right? We wanna have balanced functional energies. That's we wanna have balance of those five elements, those energies. We also wanna have balanced digestive and metabolic, metabolic, metabolic fires. And so that means we wanna have a strong digestive system, strong metabolic system. And we call that, that strength Agni, okay? So we want to have a strong Agni or digestive fire. We also want to have balanced tissue nourishment. What does that mean? We want to have the appropriate diet to nourish our tissues. Um, and we also want to have pleasant senses of mind and soul. So that means we want to have a calm and harmonious balance of mind, body, and spirit. We want to reduce anxiety and stress which can affect us, affect our health, and can manifest in physical symptoms sometimes. So we work on building that immune strength, building that agni, that digestive strength, and that leads to a strong ojus. Well, what is ojus? Ojus is vitality, right? Vitality in life and immune strength. It's also promotes inner harmony, right? When we have harmony between mind and body and spirit, that is perfect health. That is your, your have a strong ojus, strong essence. Okay. So how can we manage? How can we manage these imbalances? How can we perhaps, you know, in this time of health crisis or any, any really imbalance, Ayurveda is going to offer these, you know, broad um, suggestions, you know, to manage the mind, the anxiety in the mind and stress and maybe recommend meditation and pranayama, always, not just now, right? We want to promote regular sleep, not to live uh, by the Ayurvedic clock. There's a proper time to eat, eat your meals, to exercise, to sleep, right? We want to think about, there's really lots of wonderful natural remedies that can increase your agni, your digestive fire, and build your immunity. Some simple ones. Ginger tea, right? Just brew some ginger tea, maybe some cumin, uh, cumin or turmeric tea. And these are going to increase um, your vitality. It's going to boost your immunity. It's going to decrease stagnation, right, body. So um, those are all good things. There's simple products that you can, you can look at at any time. Um, Gaduchi, for instance. Um, uh, so, you know, there's lots of remedies available to you. So when you are working with your clients, you're going to be able to learn how to recommend these healing interventions. They're all going to be available to you. You'll recommend a uh, lifestyle. Uh, as I said, when is the best time to go to sleep? What's the best time to wake up? What's the appropriate exercise for that individual based on their dosha or the season? You can come up with a nutritional plan. Right now, right, it's really helpful to drink warm uh, teas and warm water, to eat soups and warm foods, right? So um, you can recommend supplements and herbal recommendations. You can, as I said, recommend certain yoga postures or meditation or, or breath work, um, give guidelines on the appropriate exercises and activities. Um, you can recommend body work 
And you also, as I said, take into account seasonal guidelines. When it's um, cold and wet and heavy out, you wanna eat warm and warm foods, lighter foods to counteract the qualities of, of the environment, of the season. So what is the scope of practice for the, the, care, for the council program? Before I get into that detail, I just wanted to go over that there's three levels here in the US for professional scopes of practice. Uh, we are talking about our level one Ayurvedic Health Counselor Program, and we have our level two program, which is the Ayurvedic Practitioner Program, and level three Ayurvedic Doctor Program. So we at Kerala Ayurveda Academy offer all three of those certification programs. Really proud that, that we do. We're one of the only schools that offer all three. We just launched our doctor program in last summer, uh, August of 2019. So we have our first class going through uh, very widely uh, regarded and received uh, by our students. So, uh, and all of these programs are in line with the National Ayurvedic Medical Association's guidelines for these certification programs in terms of format, curriculum, um, the uh, contact hours, uh, scope of practice, etc. So, where we apply every year to have our programs approved by them and they, you know, they currently are. So that's good. So when you're uh, looking at programs, excuse me, when you're looking at a programs, maybe you're in the beginning stages of your search for a program, the National Ayurvedic Medical Association's website or NAMA's website is a great resource. It has a lot of uh, content that's really interesting as well as it lists all the approved schools here in the US. So I would definitely check it out it's www.ayurvedanama.org. So uh, definitely um, check that out as a wonderful resource. As an Ayurvedic student, you can join their association for free as a student. Uh, so what, do, what can you do upon graduation as a counselor? So you can determine and analyze a client's unique body constitution. So you're gonna determine what is their unique makeup of those three doshas, of those five elements. You're gonna conduct your lifestyle consultations. You're gonna give guidance on their daily routines, on diet, on uh, pranayama, meditation, yoga. You can give guidance on Ayurvedic therapies and simple herbal remedies. And your focus at level one is prevention of disease and maintaining good health, right? So keeping that immune system strong, keeping the agni, the digestive fires burning appropriately, and really um, boosting the ojas or vitality of life. So what are some of the professional applications? So we found that Ayurveda complements all healing modalities. It's an excellent enhancement. If you already are practicing another healing modality, if perhaps you are um, excuse me, um, a medical practitioner or your massage therapist, your yoga teacher, a nutritionist, learning Ayurveda with, you know, looking at the, the entire individual mind, body, and spirit really is a nice enhancement for the services that you are already offering your clients. So let us know, are you already practicing another healing modality? Well, I'd love to hear. Um, so, uh, you know, and then I would, I would, mention that I would say probably half of our students possess another healing modality already upon joining the level one program, but the other half are people that are just looking for a career change that really are motivated as we, I think all of you are, are really motivated not only to learn Ayurveda for yourself and perhaps your family and your friends, but you all have a common purpose or dharma of helping people. Right? This is really about helping people uh, when you get this certification. So it's really a wonderful life's purpose. Um, and so if you're in that other category, uh, you, know, you absolutely can get the certification and begin to conduct those consultations and come up with treatment plans, appropriate, you know, appropriate treatment plans based on the scope of practice. So I used to be in the other category. I was a financial consultant and I uh, for Fortune 500 companies and endowments, and I used to travel all over the place and, and help them with their big, big portfolios. And um, while I loved telling people what to do, I really didn't like the lifestyle. It was very stressful. 
and I was raising a family and I really wanted to do something to really originally just help my own health. I was really stressed out and um, not living a healthy lifestyle. So I found yoga and Ayurveda to really change my own personal life. And really it came to be a wonderful calling for me. Uh, so I have my Ayurveda counselor certification. I am a yoga teacher and a Reiki practitioner. So it's been this wonderful transition for me, transformational journey into something totally different. But I still use the skills that I had. You know, I worked 15 years in, in finance and in business, and I still use those skills every day. Um, but I'm doing something that I love. So um, you, we can help you figure out that plan. That's what we're here for. That's what Brenda and I are here for, to help you pick out what program is appropriate for you and how can we help you with, with um, you know, adding this certification to your, to your professional career, okay? Oops. All right. So I wanted to share before I go in further into the program, I wanted to share with you one of the, my most favorite testimonials from one of our students that went through both our level one and level two programs. His name is Dr. Leroy Perry. He's based in LA. He's a sports scientist and a chiropractic orthopedist. And he, um, he says, I won't read the whole, um, the whole, testimonial, but I'll read my favorite parts. So he says, Ayurveda, even though I've studied many different sciences, has been the most comprehensive system of education and science that I've ever studied. I believe that every sports science doctor, every chiropractor, every medical doctor, every podiatrist, every dentist should learn Ayurvedic medicine. This is the basis now for my practice and has given me more information and ways to help my patients than any other science. So that is a really profound uh, testimonial. And I think that you will find that Ayurveda, because it takes into account the whole person, what you can offer your clients is, um, is absolutely life-changing. And really, you know, we call Ayurveda the common sense science. So it's really easy, um, easy and common sense things that you can incorporate to have a profound effect on your health. And, and helping for the health of others. So why study with us? Well, I, you know, we think we are really, really special for a number of reasons. One of them is, as I mentioned earlier, is we are committed to the traditional teachings from Kerala, India. So when I talked about the, those ancient texts that have been translated over the last 30 years, we actually teach right from those texts. And we even have a web series called Ashtanga Hridayam that our director, Dr. Jay Rajan, will translate the Sanskrit verses, uh, you know, principles, verse by verse with a student. So that's a wonderful, I'll talk about that later. But I'm just telling you that we are committed to those traditional teachings. We don't water down the material for an American audience. You're getting, you're getting the authentic uh, teachings from the source, okay? And then we also have those wonderful deep roots in India. So we are part of a full spectrum Ayurvedic company, you know, seat to table, and so are you. So you have those resources available to you to study in India, to take advantage of our products and services. And as I'll talk about this later, but as part of our family, as, as you know, a student or graduate of our certification programs, we offer all kinds of discounts and things like that. Sorry about these notifications showing up. Sorry about that. Um, and then, you know, we have the distance learning option. And so you, we can live stream our classes from your home, from anywhere that there's a strong internet connection. So we're, we, we can provide this really high quality, wonderful program with flexibility to fit into your lifestyle. And as I mentioned, we have our th three, three levels of Ayurvedic certification programs. We also have a fourth, it's the Panchakarma Technician Certification Program we launched last year as well. So we have four certification programs. We have continuing ed programs and workshops for all levels of students, and many of them are approved by, by NAMA, so you can get continuing credits there. And we have an India Immersion trip that all levels of students can go on. I'll talk about that a little later. We offer that uh, in the summer, typically every couple years. We have one coming up 
this July, we're really excited about. And we offer clinical internships, really highly regarded clinical internships in Milpitas and in India. And we have wonderful, fantastic, inspiring faculty. They are the reason really that I wanted to join Kerala Ayurveda Academy and work, um, work here. I took the program in person. We actually um, had Dr. J and a number of the teachers travel out to Massachusetts a number of years ago and did, would do the weekend intensives here. And I was so inspired by the knowledge co and commitment of the faculty. I just wanted to, be, wanted to be part of it because really the company is committed to teaching and healing in such a profound way. Uh, everybody, all the faculty, the whole team, you know, we think about the work that we do is purpose over profits. And we do feel that we change the world. You know, we're changing the world one person at a time. So, and you, you are, are part of that. You, when you join, you're part of our family. And we want to help you with your journey of Ayurvedic learning. It really is a lifelong journey. This is the first, first uh, you know, program, perhaps and a lifetime of learning. So we wanna help you and support you in that. And our teachers are here to do that as well. So we're led by, the teachers are led by Dr. J. Rajan Cody Conniff. He's our academy director. He has many, many years of experience as an Ayurvedic um, healer and educator. He started out in Bangalore at our award-winning Ayurvedic and wellness, uh, Ayurvedic and yoga wellness center as the medical director for 10 years. And he came over here about 10 years ago, maybe a little longer, and really has been an instrumental in us offering so many other wonderful Ayurvedic programs. And um, so our, he leads up our faculty team. So a couple, couple testimonials. Dr. J. Rajan's method of teaching was very organized and thorough. I thank him for being so passionate about Ayurveda. He is truly an inspiration. We all call him Dr. J for, for short. Another student says, Dr. J is such a wonderful teacher with his compassion, wisdom, and presence. Um, and then one of our other faculty, Dr. Uh, Rucha Kalkar. I really enjoyed and appreciated the high level of interaction Rucha Kalkar provided. Her teaching was fantastic and inspiring. So um, these are some of our faculty. Here are some more. Um, Dr. Sheena, one of our students said, is a wonderful teacher. I love attending her classes. Um, Dr. Ram is wonderful, very knowledgeable, and very interesting. So our students love, our teachers are inspired by them, and they really are, our teachers are really inspired by, by you as well. So what is the program format. So I'm talking today about our spring program, which starts April 7th. So there's still plenty of time um, to join. Um, we'd like you, if you can, to register by the 31st, just so we can guarantee that we can get you set up in time for the orientation, get you your manuals, get you logged into our e-learning system, et cetera. So uh, we can help you with that. We do offer the program twice a year in the spring and the fall. So perhaps Jamila, you could share with everyone that that fall date um, uh, on the in the question box because I don't remember it. So that would be great. It is in October uh, sometime. So the format is there's 11 weekend intensives, Saturday and Sunday, once a month, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Pacific time. So our first weekend intensive is April 18th and 19th. And uh, we usually do offer an in-class option as well as live stream, but right now we're suspending our in-class sessions, excuse me, until further notice. So you know the situation is changing very, very rapidly. So we're, we're constantly assessing the situation. And when we feel it's safe for our students, our faculty, and our staff, we, you know, we'll go right back to in, in class. We really aren't missing a beat. So we also have 25 weekly virtual classroom sessions. They're every other Tuesday, 5.30 to 7.30, live streamed for everyone. That first class is May 12th, okay? And then we have, for our distance learners, a four-day practical immersion. Uh, so that's included in your tuition, optional right now to attend. That'll be next February, 18th to the 21st. 
And that's an opportunity for you as a distance learner to come out to Milpita, study with Dr. J, meet all the students face to face, and get an opportunity to do the hands-on practicums that you're you're watching, you know, going on in the classroom. So obviously where we um, hope that you're able to to attend that to, to attend that four day if you're a distance learner. The other piece of the program is self-paced. So what does that what does that mean? There are things that we want you to do in between the, the monthly classes, okay? So there's online recorded lectures that will be in your e-learning system each month for each module or subject uh, that we want you to listen to. We obviously want you to review your manuals each month, remove it, that's our version of the textbook. Um, you'll get a physical copy. If you're an international student, we give you PDF version and I'll, I can get into that a little bit later. Um, there's also pre-tests, practice tests for you, um, and also there's a monthly test, online test. It's 50 questions, multiple choice. Don't stress out. You have five chances to take the, take the test, and you just need a 70 to pass and go on. So we just want to make sure you know the material. We're not trying to stress you out or trick you or anything like that. So don't worry if you get, if you were, you know, do get worried about tests. Um, okay. So, oh, I just want to mention that we do record all of the classes. So you can re listen to the classes again if you want to review. They're there for if you miss a class, you're able to listen to the recording to keep up with your studies. The recordings are usually available about two days after the class ends. And so that will be available for you to listen to. If you miss a class, you're welcome to make up the class live in six months when we offer the program again. So I just wanted to give you a brief, very brief overview of the topics or modules that you'll be studying throughout the year. Um, we have a course catalog that goes into detail for, um, for what, you know, what exactly you're studying each month. So we will send you the link to the course catalog uh, with a follow-up email. It may be available for you to download now. Um, I'm not sure. I don't want to check because I'm technology challenged and I don't want to, I don't want to mess up um, my, my, uh, my, my um, webinar here. So the, you'll start with an essence of Ayurveda. We'll give you a really nice introduction to Ayurveda, the principles of Ayurveda. Then we'll go into Ayurvedic physiology, Ayurvedic psychology, um, so that's really the um, Ayurvedic psychology is really similar to the inner practices of yoga, you know, Ayurveda and the mind is what you'll st be studying there. You'll be going over nutrition and Ayurvedic nutrition and cooking. That was my favorite. Um, and then we'll go into Ayurvedic preventive, preventive science. That is, is really what daily routines, what seasonal routines can you do to uh, maintain good health? build immunity and um, and also uh, seasonally what you should do. So you'll make adjustments because nature's changing. You're gonna have to change a few things to adjust for the qualities of nature. And then we'll go into Ayurvedic herbology. You'll study the 30 most popular herbs. You get a wonderful comprehensive introduction to herbology and some simple formulations. And then we'll go into Ayurvedic yoga. That's really looking at just some simple yoga poses that would be good for certain doshas or for the season. You're not gonna come out being a yoga teacher, but you'll have knowledge to recommend simple, simple sequences or recommending a certain type of yoga class to your clients. You will we'll also go over some um, simple meditation and pranayama practices that you can share with your clients. And then we'll go into an introduction to Ayurvedic body work as well as um, assessing and the management of dosha imbalances. So how do you assess if someone possesses um, an imbalance and then how do you manage it? What, how do you manage it? What would be your appropriate treatment plan? So step-by-step -step process for that that we'll go over. And then their last weekend is a review. It's an opportunity we'll have uh, clients or rogies come in and, and you guys will do a clinical weekend there. And the other thing which I did mention earlier as I introduced Brenda is that 
you'll be assigned when you enroll uh, an academic mentor. And that person is there to support you throughout the year. So you'll be seeing your faculty members once a month in the weekend intensive and every other Tuesday. But there is time in between that you're gonna be working, you'll be working on that self-paced piece of the program and you might need some support. You may have questions uh, about a concept that might be confusing or that you, you was explained in class but you need uh, further clarification or support or maybe you need support on the assignments and the mentors there to help keep you on track, to keep you scheduled. I don't know about you but uh, you know I'm, uh, Vata, and sometimes it's it. I if I have too much going on, I have a hard time organizing. So that mentor would be really helpful in helping me keep on track and making a list of, of assignments or tasks uh, to to keep me going and ready for the next month. So we have Verinda. I wanted her to just pop on and say hi again. She is a wonderful academic mentor. We have a number of them. She's just one of a group of people that will support you, but I wanted her to come on and say hi. Hi, Brenda. Hello, Suzanne, and thank you so much. And hi, everyone. It's great to see you here. And you know, watching students go through the AWC program is a rewarding um, experience for all of us at Carolina Beta. And as mentors, we get to walk this academic journey with you. Um, and so on behalf of all the mentors at Kerala Veda, I welcome you into the program. Thank you, Brenda, so much. Um, I appreciate you coming on and saying hi. So I get asked a lot, what does a typical month look like if I join the program, program and can I fit this into my life? You know, I, many, most of our students either are working full time or raising a family or both right? And they say, how can I do this? My life is crazy, right? We all have crazy lives. Uh, but you can, you absolutely can do it. We've structured the program with you in mind, knowing that you have uh, other obligations. You know, we're not, we're not a school that has a residence, uh, not a resident campus, you know, where you don't come and stay. Uh, we, we structure the program in, in mind that you have the flexibility to take this awesome program for a year, um, but also uh, able to fulfill your other responsibilities in life, right? So you have, you're gonna have your one weekend a month for 11 months that you're gonna be studying with us. You'll have your two weekly virtual classroom sessions every other Tuesday, so twice a month, you'll have a Tuesday evening class. And then the other times, uh, you'll be accessing your, the e-learning system. There's recorded lectures there for you to do each month or listen to. They're usually in a one or one and a half hour format. And you can uh, certainly, um, I love to multitask as a mom, right? So you can listen to them while you're commuting or on a walk, um, accomplish you know, two things at once. You're going to be reviewing your course manual each month, getting ready for the weekend intensive class. You're going to work on your pre-test. You can complete that at your own pace, but you want me recommend that you take your test a few days after the weekend intensive while the material is fresh. You've already reviewed your manual. Perhaps you've been working on your pre-test and then you take the test and then you can move on to the next module. And then there's five projects assigned throughout the year. Um, that you'll be working on as well. So we estimate that that all of that work, all that self-paced work is about five to seven hours per week. So 30 to 60 minutes a day, five to seven days a week. So when you're thinking about your schedule, can you commit half an hour to an hour, you know, five to seven days a week to something that you really love, something that you're passionate about, something that's going to change your life? And I bet you'll say yes. Right. So when I did the course, uh, my kids were younger, right, but four, four to five years younger. And so I had three really active, active kids and a part time job and um, and taking this program. And I was part time job teaching yoga and raising three kids. So I looked at every week, you know, what was my schedule looking like that for the upcoming week? And I tried to pick one time during the day, every day, that was the best for me. And I chose, because I love to wake up early, 5.30 to 6.30. And so that was before my kids got up 
and we're getting ready for school. So I would have all of my um, books and my computer set up in the same place. I never put it away. I'm not a, that much of a pitta. I didn't mind leaving it out. And so I would get up and just sit down and do work. Sometimes it was just for half an hour. Sometimes it was for an hour. And then I would quit at 6.30, wake the kids up, make their breakfast, make their lunch, get them off to school. So that worked for me to have a schedule. I needed a schedule. I'm a vata. I need to get it, get the focus in. So I found that to be really great advice that one of our faculty members gave us and I took it to heart and, and that's what I did to, to make time in my busy life for this program that I absolutely loved. So I hope that, I hope that helps. Oops. So I wanted to share quickly um, this, this uh, testimonial from Germander. And so I know when I talk to students, uh, often you might wonder, is this the right time for me? I have so much going on, or I, I, um, I don't know if I have time for it. And Germander is so inspiring. She was 74 years old when she started the program, the AWC program. She ended up loving it so much, she, she just uh, completed the AWP program about a year ago. And she originally started the course just to, just to help her health and that of her family. And she's a clinical psychologist and she ended up loving it so much that not only did she take level two, but she really has incorporated it into her practice. So um, she says, I, and she goes, Ayurveda is for everybody. I'm 74 years old. If I can do it, everybody can do it. So she really is a reminder, an inspiring reminder that when you have passion for something, it's never too late, right? Never too late. Um, to follow your passion, change your life, right? And impact and change the life of others, right? We're all here, we wanna help people. So you can really have a profound impact on, on the life of other people in such a positive way. And I just wanted to go over briefly the distance learning. The great thing is you guys are experiencing what, what it's like to, to be on a distance learning uh, classroom or call. Uh, so, you know, we use the Zoom technology. I know there's some of you that this is your first time using Zoom, and I hope it was easy uh, to, to get used to. You know, technology sometimes is a challenge. I know it is for me, <laughs> and, um, but I seem to get it to work um, despite, my, despite, despite not being really tech technology knowledge, not having a lot of techno technical knowledge, but um, I find this really easy to work with. So we use it for all of our, all of our classes and you can watch from anywhere as long as you have a strong internet connection. So just like you're seeing me, uh, you will be able to view your, view your instructor. You'll be able, they always have class slides like this. So you're viewing you know, the, our presentation. They also will have a whiteboard. Um, that they can use. And you can also type questions in like you're asking Jamila today. She's acting as our class moderator or group moderator. And so you'll be able to interact with the instructor or the class moderator. And the other, other feature that you'll have in the classroom that you don't have here is that you'll be able to chat with the other students. So I know that you'll be spending, you know, a whole weekend sitting in front of your computer listening to class and it's really nice to be able to chat to the other students as well. And the other great thing that I found really helpful when doing online classes is that I'm able to see the questions that the other students are asking. And so, and also sometimes the students will um, offer input into that question as well. So, you, I mean, obviously you're going to have the instructor answering it, but it's always nice to have other perspectives and comments as well. It's all part of the interactive uh, learning experience. So let us know how you're enjoying this Zoom call and if it seems uh, easy and uh, easy to do, uh, you'll probably really enjoy the distance learning uh, aspect of our programs. So a quick, a quick testimonial by one of our students. She had, a, she had some doubts about 
the distance learning technology and she couldn't be happy, couldn't have been happier uh, doing the program. She says, initially, I was wondering if the distance learning program was good enough format to transmit such a complex knowledge of Ayurveda. But thanks to Dr. J and his crew, his promise became more than true. Doing the AWC online has been the best decision ever. So don't forget, Jamila did that program on online so she can answer any questions for you about that as well. So now we come to the tuition and payment plans. I want to let you guys know that we're offering a $200 off of tuition, the spring tuition. We usually do that uh, for people that enroll early. We have an early bird discount for people that enroll over the winter. But we're, you know, we decided to extend it and we're calling it a special, special tuition discount because we really appreciate that in these uncertain times that you guys are so passionate about Ayurveda that you're considering our program, you have faith in us. We want to show you that we have faith in you. We're really happy that you are um, you know, thinking about committing to our program, that we're offering a $200 savings on regardless of any payment plan you choose if you enroll in our spring program. So our regular tuition is usually $5,500. It will be $5,300 with that savings, and you would pay that uh, half yearly, um, half upon enrollment and half in six months. Um, we also have a painful discount where you automatically get $200 off if you pay for tuition in full. We'll give you additional $200 off. It's $5,100. The only other fee associated with the program is the $100 registration fee. So your books and materials are included. Your mentor support is included. Your distance learning uh, it, practical immersion is included in tuition. So no hidden fees after you enroll. Okay. So you can see on the right hand side the table that we have extended payment plans um, in addition to the half yearly plan and the tuition in fall. We have a quarterly plan where you would pay $1,450 a quarter, a 12 month plan of $500 a month and a 15 month plan at $415 a month. So regardless of the payment plan you choose, we'll take that $200 off, right off the first payment. Okay. So for instance, if you pick the 12 month plan, your tuition payment would be $300 for the first month with and the registration fee rather than $500. I hope that makes sense. So we wanted to offer you a webinar exclusive where we, again, we are so happy and appreciative that you are considering our program and that you took the time out of your day to join us for an hour. We really appreciate it. So if you apply by March 29th, you can receive a $100 credit towards a future academic program. So we have a reference code, $100 credit. You would just include that reference form in your enrollment form, okay? So we'll go over the enrollment process um, in a little bit. I'm gonna quickly go through um, this next session about additional opportunities because I do wanna have time to answer any questions for you, okay? So um, if I'm going too fast, you have questions about this, I'm happy to answer them you know, uh, um, offline. All right, so I do wanna cover um, this page. This is really important because this is really about us as a company um, and our, our purpose, you know, we're really, how, wh why are we motivated? As I said earlier, we're really motivated to change the world one person at a time and also to support you on your Ayurvedic journey. So when you join us, we consider you part of our family, the Kerala family. And so as you graduate from this program, we still want to support you in your learning. So we allow you to have continued access to the most updated curriculum. So if we update our manuals, you'll have access to that via a PDF version. We have, we're launching a special alumni module that you'll have access to online in our e-learning system where the, all these resources will be available. You'll have continued access to our Tuesday evening virtual classes. You can attend every week if you want, at, you know, every time it's offered live or you have access to the archived classes. And then we give you discounts on other academic programs, on products and Ayurvedic consultations at our wellness center. We have a fully functioning Ayurvedic Wellness Center out in California. So I also wanted to introduce you to the team. You've met some of the team today. You've met three of us, um, myself, and as I mentioned, 
Brenda, who is an enrollment advisor and an academic mentor. Jamila Colosi is our creative communications manager, and she's, she's helping me out today answering your questions. We also have our academy manager, Kathy Moore, um, and our manager of student support services, Sunita Kodikana. So Kathy and Sunita will, once you enroll, will be with you to support you from enrollment to graduation. So if you have any issues or questions or need support that aren't related to the um, academic part of the program, that's the team. Uh, to contact. So Sunita is the manager of student support and so she would be your primary contact. And then we're all headed up by our academy manager, Dr. J. Rajan Cody Khanna. And as I said, he leads our, our academy as well as he's our chief Ayurvedic consultant in our wellness center. So um, when we follow up with you, we can send you a sample class that he taught so you can meet him virtually. He is absolutely inspiring. Uh, person, so and uh, teacher and healer, so you'll really enjoy that. So I wanted to uh, also just go over briefly some of our additional learning opportunities. You know, as I said, we have additional professional certification programs. We also are offering this summer a wonderful India immersion trip, the journey to the heart of Ayurveda and yoga, and um, so. Uh, you can check that out online. It's absolutely a life-changing experience. You'll, you'll be led by Dr. J and Kathy Moore, our Academy Manager. Uh, we're offering a week in North India, and then you'll be traveling to Kerala and Bangalore with us. Um, and it's a wonderful learning cultural tourist trip. Um, and then we also offer a lot of workshops and web series. As I mentioned, that Ashtanga Hurdayam series where we where Dr. J will translate the ancient Ayurvedic texts verse by verse. That we, um, we um, it's a great foundation to Ayurvedic learning. So we do recommend that to all levels of Ayurvedic students. Um, we also offer an introduction to Sanskrit. We'll be offering that next, um, next January or next winter. Uh, again, we have other uh, workshops, Ayurvedic Skin and Beauty, which is a wonderful workshop coming up in June. You can do that in class or live streaming. That's a great intro program as well. So um, I want to thank you all for attending the workshop. We're going to open it up to questions, but just briefly, I want to go over our enrollment process. So you will uh, first apply online. You'll go to our website, keralaayurveda.us courses. You'll fill out a short application. I will review that and we'll send you, once it's approved, we'll send you the link to enroll. You'll complete that enrollment form online. You'll select a payment plan. We manually process the enrollment form, so it's shopping cart. So Sunita and her team will be processing that enrollment form, and a day or two, they'll get back to you with a welcome email confirmation, okay? So um, we're, we have, um, it takes us a little while, right? We're not, like I said, we're not a shopping cart. There's humans behind the application approval process and humans behind the enrollment form. So um, uh, if you don't hear from us, it, it, don't, don't worry. You can pop us an email. We'll confirm we received it, but we're working on it, okay? Um, so open it up to questions. Uh, so Jamila, do we have any questions I can answer for the group? Hi, everybody. I'm back. Thank you so much for all your questions during the session. So let's begin and feel free to type in more questions. We still have a few minutes left if you have something that you still want answered. Uh, so the first question is about the prerequisites uh, about mm -hmm. our anatomy and physiology requirement. The question is, does that have to be completed to be able to join the program? Um, is that, oh no, I'm sorry, I was just reading the question, sorry. Um, so no, you don't need to complete anatomy and physiology prior to starting the council program. It's a co-requisite. So you can take the program during, uh, while you're taking the, the Ayurvedic counselor course. So if you have taken anatomy and physiology already, you can submit a transcript and we can, if, if approved, that we would waive that, that co-requisite. Thank you, Suzanne. And we'll have a link in our follow-up email that has more details on that for you. So I hope that answers that question. 
And then about the application process, there's a question, is there a deadline for completing the application? Yes, we would prefer, so we don't have a, we don't have a hard and fast cutoff, but we have a strong, very, very strong recommendation that you apply, fill out that application form by March 31st. That just guarantees that you will get all the information and resources in time for our orientation on April 7th. It, if you apply after March 31st, of course, we're going to accept it. We're going to review it as quickly as we can, but we can't guarantee that everything will be set up for you by the orientation, okay? Because we have lots of enrollments and, and like I said, there's humans behind the process, so it does take us some time. So we will try our absolute best, but we can't guarantee. So we take enrollments right up until a few days before the first class that will be in mid-April. Um, but again, we won't be able to get, guarantee that we could get you all the resources you need to start. So we want you to start out like with everything organized in a good place, time to review uh, the e-learning system and get, and get the resources that you need. So you start that first class um, you know, ready to go in a good place. Does that make sense? Thank you so much, Suzanne. If you guys have more questions about the application, let us know. We're happy to assist you with that today. So we also have a question about uh, the format. Uh, so the question is for the recordings. Is there a deadline to watching those recordings? No, we don't have a deadline. You guys will have access to those recordings um, for, um, I don't want to say forever, but we don't have, we're not going to take them away there. You'll have access to those recordings indefinitely. Mm -hmm. As long as you're in the, the program, the right. recording won't go away. I think might be the nature of the question. Let us know if that answers that, but yes. yeah, you, you right. can uh, keep up with your studies by accessing those recordings during the program anytime. Right. Yes, um, we have a question overall about our programs, a good question. Do the programs build on each other? For example, if I take levels one and two, can those be added to the doctoral program? Yes, absolutely. So the prerequisite for our level two program is our level one program or an equivalent from a NAMA approved program. So it is required to, to do level one for level two, and it's required to do level two to start level three. Thank you, Suzanne. And then we just have a, a question about someone who's done a yoga training before um, they've completed um, a CIAYT certification. Can they enroll in AWP? That's level two. No. We do have a prerequisite. Uh, a level one Ayurvedic certification is required to join practitioner level. Right. Thank you guys for all the questions. And then uh, one final question uh, that came in, um, will I have to take any additional courses or electives to earn the certification at the end of the program? No, so the prerequisite for the program is a high school diploma or higher, right? Um, so you can submit with your application either the high school diploma or transcript or higher education diploma or transcript. So that's a prerequisite. The co-requisite is the anatomy and physiology course. And so once you have those and you fulfill our graduation requirements, you will get a certificate as an Ayurvedic wellness counselor from us. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So everything Suzanne described in the format that you saw today in the presentation, that's all you have to do to get your AWC certification. Uh, one uh, question that nobody asked but might be a good one to answer is people often ask if they can change their payment plan because you do have to choose your payment plan up front when you fill out your enrollment form. Uh, so Suzanne, what do you advise if people want to make any changes? Yeah, during absolutely you can change your payment plan. So just know, again, you know, our company philosophy is to support you in your Ayurvedic journey. And sometimes you may, let's say there's two scenarios that can happen, right? You pick an extended payment plan, but then you decide maybe you get a tax refund and you say, hey, I want to I, I wanna pay off my tuition and pay early. Of course, we'll take that and we would adjust the uh, management fee accordingly, right? Because you don't have a management fee if you pay sooner. Um, and then the other applies too. Maybe you have a quarterly payment plan, but your financial situ situation changes and you say, hey, I, 
I can't pay that right now. Can I adjust my payment plan, you know, for financial reasons? So of course, so we want to work with you and we realize that, you know, this is a really unusual time. Um, and if you have, you know, some special circumstances at this time, please let us know. Please let us know. We'll help you the best we can. Okay. Thank you so much, Suzanne. We're all caught up on our questions. So just a reminder, we will have a follow-up email going out to you with links to all of the resources we mentioned. And we'll also share with you the recording of the session if you missed part of it or want to watch it again. Yeah, thank you guys so much. It really has been my pleasure spending this hour with you talking about a program that I absolutely love. And I hope that you are excited to learn more, excited to get started. And we are here, Vrinda and I are here to help you, advise you, guide you on what program is best for you. And we have a wonderful team to support you once you join the program. So I look forward to hearing from you. We'll send you a follow-up email later so you can respond to that if you have any questions. But if you want to set up a one-on-one -on -one call or if you have questions immediately, just, just email me at admissions at keralaayurveda.us. Um, I'm here, Brenda's here for you. So we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much. Stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks so much. Namaste, everybody.